Hello, I'm Jason Glosson, a loss prevention specialist with SFM Insurance, and I work with our agents and policyholders in Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. I've been with SFM for 13 years and working in occupational safety for 25. I'm also a reserve deputy sheriff for the Dallas County Sheriff's Office in Iowa, and I hope to offer some perspective on how you can manage your driving exposures and help protect your employees while driving for work. Managing your driving exposures has similarities to other ha hazards you manage in the workplace, but the consequences of a motor vehicle accident can be significant. It is common knowledge that driving is hazardous and even the safest drivers can have a bad day on the road. Knowing how to create a driving program, set expectations, provide training, and uphold your safe driving expectation goes a long way in helping reduce the risks while driving. I plan to touch on eight key points in managing your safe driving program. Your driving program will be somewhat unique to your organization based on the type of driving your employees do, but these topics are relevant from the small fleet to the large. One piece of advice that I'd like to emphasize is your safe driving program needs to be more than words on a piece of paper or computer screen. It needs to be managed in practice. It needs to be part of your culture. Like any good safety program, your organization needs to live the values and uphold the expectations that you set forth. As we are moving through this presentation, think about what your safe driving program is or is not, and what you need to do as a company to make sure your employees are returning home safely from their travels on the road. Talking about demonstrating and prioritizing safety at every level, starting with senior leadership, extending through middle management, and to the company drivers consistently will help create a true safe driving culture. By doing this, safety is the top of mind for not only employers, but employees. Get your company drivers to commit to saying and doing, I recognize that safety is an essential part of my job and I will make it my highest priority by following safe driving standards of our organizations so that everyone goes home safely every day. If you are a leader in your organization, ask yourself, do my words and actions reflect my safe driving expectations that I've set for my employees? Remembering actions speak louder than words. I look back to loss prevention visits I've done with customers and have two examples on what to watch for. In one instance, during a leadership meeting, we discussed organizational driving practices. Following this conversation, we jumped into a company vehicle to drive several miles to a different plant. Just moments before getting in the car, we were discussing a vibrant, safe driving program. And as we pulled onto the highway, the operations manager chose not to wear their seatbelt. Consider the message this was delivering to me and what it says to the other employee drivers. In another circumstance, one of my clients was monitoring drivers with telematics. And during a review of this information, we discovered several occurrences of significant speed violation. A continued discussion revealed corrective actions were not being applied. Knowing these at-risk behaviors are occurring and choosing not to apply corrective actions like giving for permission for them to continue. Create written policies and procedures that state your company's expectation of employees who drive as well as specific policy related to jo the jobs involving vehicle use. It is a written statement emphasizing the company's commitment to reducing traffic related accidents, injuries, and death. Create clear, comprehensive, and enforceable sets of driving rules and communicate them to all employees. Don't let this policy collect dust on the shelf. It should be used, evaluated, and adapted to fit your company's changing exposures and most importantly, make sure it's well communicated. Review this policy at least annually and make sure that its contents are in action in your fleet and that it addresses relevant exposures. Hey, pro tip, the internet is literally filled with good templates to create your safe driving program. Manage your driver list and selection. Employee drivers, including the occasional driver who use rental vehicles or personal vehicles for business purposes can bring risk to themselves or your company. You should be mindful of everyone who is driving on behalf of the organization and the extent of that driving. Check the driving record of all prospective employees who will be driving for work purposes and screen out those who have poor driving records since they are most likely to cause issues. 
employee drivers should have their driving record reviewed annually to ensure they maintain a good driving record and action should be taken if the record deteriorates. Clearly define the number of violations an employee driver can have before losing the privilege of driving for work and provide training when needed. Have employees read, understand, and sign a driver's agreement. It is a contract with all employees who drive for work purposes, and by signing the agreement, the driver acknowledges awareness and understanding of the organization's safe driving policies, procedures, and expectations regarding driver performance. Have them agree to things like adhere to terms of use, maintain an enforced valid driver's license, and alert management immediately if the license becomes expired, restricted, suspended, or revoked. Notify the company of any citations, drive in a safe and courteous manner, and obey traffic laws, wear your seatbelt. Report all act accidents immediately and then abstain from alcohol or controlled substances prior to and during vehicle operation. Take care in vehicle selection, maintenance, and inspection. Selecting, properly maintaining, and routinely inspecting company vehicles is an important part of preventing crashes and related loss. Every organization should review and consider the safety features of all vehicles to be considered for use. Consider having your policy limit the use of personal vehicles as you have modest control. The importance of safety and technology in fleet selection can't be overstated, and it's important not only for protecting the drivers and vehicles, but also mitigating liability. Newer vehicles are generally safer due to advancements in design, materials, and safety systems. Technologies like GPS tracking and telematics provide valuable data that can be used to monitor vehicles and improve driver performance. Establish and enforce an accident reporting and investigation process. All accidents, regardless of severity, should be reported to the company as soon as possible after. Company traffic safety policies and procedures should clearly guide drivers through their responsibilities in a crash. All accidents should be reviewed to determine their cause and whether the accidents were preventable. Tips, check yourself for injuries and the well-being of your passengers. Get to safety and call 911. Seek medical treatment, document the accident, photos of the scene, insurance information from the other driver, contact information of witnesses, report the accident to the company and notify the insurer to start the claims process as soon as possible. Develop a strategy to determine the course of action after the occurrence of a moving violation and preventable crash. Be sure to provide for progressive discipline if a driver becomes to develop a pattern of repeated traffic violations and preventable crashes. Describe what specific actions will be taken if a driver accumulates a defined number of violations or crashes in a predefined period. Provide continuous driver training and communication. Even experienced drivers benefit from training and reminders of safe driving practices and skills. It's really easy to become complacent and not think about the consequences of our driving habits. The following slides are helpful training topics for your company drivers. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn, Benjamin Franklin. Show them how to perform, avoidance of distraction, effective communication with others, fatigue management, managing space around their vehicles on the road, the navigation of hazards, speed management, trip planning, and understanding their specific vehicle. There are a variety of training methods. On my slide, they are listed from the most effective or highest retention at the top to the least effective at the bottom. Adult learning styles vary and incorporating a variety of training methods is the most effective way to ensure employees retain what they learn. A great training tool is alerting employee drivers to the consequences of poor driving behavior, such as injury or death, fines and penalties, negative points against the driving record, and impact on their ability to work. Increasing your insurance rate, suspended or revoked driver's license, a mandatory court appearance, jail time, civil penalties, and disciplinary actions. Some key points. 
at risk or unsafe acts cause more crashes than unsafe condition. Only a small percentage of crashes are the result of poor conditions. Most serious accidents occur during daylight hours, clear weather, meaning the environment is less than a factor than you may think. So we should train for conditions or behaviors. A reasonable theory to why this is would be drivers perceive that there is less hazard during this time. Think about driving home on a nice sunny day with the window down and the radio on. Now think about where your mind is at. Conversely, consider how you might drive in a severe wet winter weather event, a fog, night, etc. Your engagement and situational awareness are likely higher. The message is don't become complacent and distracted while driving. Training for driver preparedness. A driver's mental and physical state are a key to safety. One of the first questions a driver should ask prior to operating the vehicle is, am I prepared to drive? In other words, you gotta pre-trip yourself. Check to see if you're ill, angry, impaired, sad, excited, tired. These states can negatively affect your performance. Train situational awareness. How can we best examine our surroundings? Looking down the road, creating a 360 degree picture around the vehicle. Make note of modern vehicle detection systems and be careful when you cross back over to vehicles that do not have them. Consider the great differences between a modern vehicle and an older one and how you learn to drive in your driving habits. If you spend most of your time in a personally owned vehicle that has features like blind spot hazard awareness, auto stop, or the vehicle can even drive itself, consider the effect on your driving behaviors. Then for work, you climb into an older vehicle that has none of the safety features that you've learned to rely upon. Don't forget your basic driving skills and take the responsibility to create your own situational awareness and be cognizant of traffic and other hazards around you. Train your drivers to communicate while on the road. Teach them, always drive with your headlights on. Use of turn signals and brake lights. Avoid others' blind spots and anticipate the actions of those around you. Teach them to put these safe driving expectations into action by wearing seat belts, not texting while driving, maintaining adequate following distances, operating at safe and legal speeds, and considering the conditions. Slow down while executing turns and curves. Avoid driving in clusters, stop at intersections, park to avoid backing, and safe operation with trailers. Understand that your behaviors and actions are being recorded in many ways that you might not be aware of, and you could be held responsible for those actions, both separately and or criminally. One modern tool is the event data recorder. Most modern vehicles are collecting data that can be evaluated post-accident to include speed, braking, and even seat belt use. The data ranges from pre-impact speed and brake use to airbag deployment and restate, and restate system performance. If you ever hook your smartphone into your car with Bluetooth or a USB connection, your car's entertainment system can access a lot of data saved on the device. According to one report, this includes your phone book, call logs, text messages, pictures, location, and data, just about anything that you can think of. Telematics are becoming more common in fleet vehicles, giving managers real-time information to access like speed, hard braking, rapid acceleration, or other at-risk behaviors. Law enforcement and third-party investigators have access to advanced tools to look at accident scenes and create an accurate picture of what's occurred. Communicating to your employees that they could be criminal or civil penalties post-accident is a good behavior modification tool. Reminding employee drivers that they and the company are responsible for the behaviors on the road should be a strong and frequent message. Other sources of post-accident discoverable information include dash cameras, cell phones, drones, and security cameras. Thank you for watching. You can find more educational work comp videos at sfmic.com webinars.